Welcome my friends! Yes, this is the best attack I have seen in a very long time. Now, you might be thinking, what? If you want to jump to the attack, you can, but I would encourage you to watch the lead up of this. And the reason I say it's the, one of the best I've seen lately, because not necessarily of the strategy or the base. Obviously, it's not even a maxed out base. So you're, you're thinking, okay, this Halo Ocred doesn't know what he's talking about. But for instance, I'm going to tell you exactly why I think so. Now, look at the brilliance he's got going. Now, this is the first hit on the base. I'll show you the second attack, which is the best I have seen in a long time from Hero, just because of the variation of the attack. Now, this was a solid hit. Of course, these bases can easily be Bowler Witched attacked, and the reason they can and, um, well, the design here was a little bit flawed. Two jumps was able to get to this final um, Infernal Tower by the Queen ability. And that's, if you're on a base defense-wise, you want to try to uh, defend against that so the Queen cannot reach that second Infernal Tower. Now, of course, on the sides here, he's got his healers to heal up the bowlers and witches, things of that. So on the second attack, you're going to be able to see... Um, of course, where the bombs are, where the giant bombs are, where the small bombs are, which have more power here. And look, a couple things to note. I'm going to really speed it up because it came down to the wire. Um, but look, that giant bomb on the outside killed, and the small bomb right here killed those witches on the outside perimeter. So, made a huge difference. He almost got this down, but unfortunately, the bowler did drop and just ran out of time, my friends. Ran out of time indeed. So again, now we'll get to the good stuff. That was the first attack. You got to see it done. Now, looking at that, Hero is gonna tweak this and he's gonna tweak it beautifully. And I, the reason I say it's a brilliant attack because look at the beauty that's about to unfold from Hero from Tactical Inc. Oh my goodness, guys. So look at this. Instead of bringing those healers, he's gonna do a little something a little bit different. Now, notice what's going on over here. He's got his bowlers at the funnel at 12 and he's gonna put more, all of his witches at the nine o'clock side. Now that is something you should, that's like, what? What's going on? But look what he's got here. First golem goes down, then look at this side golem. Now you might be thinking, what in the world is this side golem doing? This is craziness. Here comes the hog riders and look at this beauty. The hog riders are gonna take down the wizard tower and after the wizard tower, they are going to lure the CC. And as the CC comes out, look where it locks onto. Guys, I gotta pause it. The Hound CC locks onto the Golem, and so that means the Queen is gonna have free reign all up in here and not get stuck on the Hound. I mean, so much brilliant, and just because of that was gonna crush this base indeed, and didn't have to worry about putting witches up here because the, the, the witches would get way more value over here getting some cannons um, as well, much better. Now, the one thing he did make a mistake, he forgot to put the poison spell. This this um, hound would have stayed on the golem the whole entire um, raid, um, but he forgot the poison, so the the loon killed the bull, um, the golem, which could have cost him in the end, but look at this great healer on the side here. He will lose the healer, but was able to get it. But look at the queen here. The queen moves so much faster through the core because there was no hound and thus the reason of the most brilliant attack I've seen in a, in a while. Just because of the ability to spot that and put the golem down and use the hogs to kill, uh, to kill a wizard tower, which is crucial in that, as well as lure the CC out and it locked onto the golem. Typically on these attacks, you put the go both golems in the core, in the, in the core push, but this time, because of the queen ability so powerful, look at this crush base. He's got a golem up, he's got so many bowlers up, and plus the witches. Goodness gracious, oh my, hero showing us how it's done. Yes, I know it's not a max base, but oh my goodness, that is impressive. That is the stuff I've been trying to teach you to look for because it makes and breaks attackers in the sense of you have to be looking for that. Always be spotting it, you know, trying to spot it for yourself, trying to get that ingrained in your mind that you can make those sort of plays, that you can come up on top and really make the difference and the deal breaker indeed. Uh, now, you know what? Let's continue on with some of the other, this is this is not the, the greatest attack I've seen, but this is I've, as, as far as seen patterns or seen different, different patterns, I should say. 
So I wanna continue on with this idea of seeing patterns, seeing how to spot bases. It really makes a difference. Yes, this is not the, the best, my attack where I get the two stars is not the best you've ever seen. But again, trying to teach you to see patterns, see how things work and get the job done. Now on this attack, you could tell he's gonna lure out the CC, gonna kill it with a baby dragon, very standard stuff you see there. That means the hound CC will not take um, uh, number one down, but this is what he's going to do instead. So look what he's got here. He's put a rage up at, at nine o'clock and he's going to put another golem here at six. So the funnel is going to be made and then he's going to put the final golem into the core push where the his, his core push will go with the main bowlers, the Valkyries, the king and queen and such. So when I saw this attack, again, it is gonna be a fail. So I was nitpicking this base apart and trying to figure out, okay, what can, what can be done and what cannot be done? The first thing you notice here, look at this golem here that he put here. This golem, yes, it's distracting a little bit, but the value has been depleted. Uh, you don't really want a golem there if the bowlers aren't really getting things behind it, and that's exactly what happened here. The bowlers really didn't do much. So um, I saw that and was like, you know what? I might not need a, that third golem there. Now, the king does take down the town hall, and look at this. I mean, he almost had this. Look at that. Look how close that was. Both expos were down to the wire, so he almost had the, the, the percentage, but it didn't happen in the end. So what you need to start looking for in these replays, how can you tweak attacks and tweak things to get it done? Now let's just speed this up and I'll tell you exactly what happened. Look at that. Oh my goodness, the first giant didn't even lure the CC, but I was able to get it done. But after I kill this dra baby dragon, I'm gonna tell you exactly what my game plan was. And there it pops. Okay, we'll pause it right here. Now a couple things I was thinking of. I, at first, you know at nine o'clock I realized you don't need a rage. The bowlers with the golem will be able to make the funnel um, in plenty of time. Also, what I found out here, um, I did not need the golem here at this mortar. You notice in the first attack, I just didn't need it. To get the job done, I was gonna use four giants with a Valkyrie and the bowlers behind. And then this is the brilliant part that I was seeing, trying to get more percentage. Because percentage was tight, you need more. So what I decided to do was put two giants in front of these cannons, pre-place the rage, and then two bowlers on each of the storages. So the sto the, goal the, the bowlers would take down both the cannons, and then they'll take down these barracks. And if, we, if I got lucky or, or, or fortunate, um, I was hoping maybe they would get down maybe one of the air defenses. And boy, oh boy, did they get the value indeed. And then the same sort of kill, kill squad push into the core. Of course, that means there's going to be less bowlers for the core push, but it doesn't matter because the queen is there to take down the town hall. And let's see what the beautiful happens here. Two, two bowlers there, three bowlers there. Nicely done. I waited a couple seconds on purpose to let them funnel just a little bit. And then that's when I started... I put the golem down here. Now I did this on purpose, guys. This is pausing it, it's just thinking in detail. The golem was gonna tank. So imagine I put the giants here first. This archer tower would lock onto the giants. And when the first giant died, then when I put my, cause I'm gonna put bowlers right here, then the archer tower would lock on probably to my bowlers, they would die. However, I put the golem here first, this archer tower will lock onto the golem and it will stay on the golem. Does that make sense? Um, so two, two and two with the Valkyrie um, and they're doing some work and after that, Preplace my rage. Look at over here, guys. Look at all the value, my friends. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. So right when I did that, I just let them do their thing. Then I shifted over here. I put the rage down. Then I froze and I had put the wall breakers down so they would get inside and wall break in. Um, now I did miss up my heal spell. I should have put it down. I just forgot it just a little bit. And you notice here, I put my king ability early on purpose so he would create the funnel for the queen so she would step in. Now at this moment, with hero abilities, I'm gonna, man, I still need to do that video about hero abilities, but you wanna use your king ability about half his health, um, and then the queen you're gonna wanna wait longer. And because I knew the EA wasn't locked onto her, I waited to the last possible second, and because of that, was gonna be able to get down this cannon as well for the 54%, and that, my friends, is how you do it. That's how you spot bases. Just like the first one I showed from hero, and just like me, you just gotta find those tweaks if need be, and um, go to town to get that extra percentage if it's a hit up or to get the three star do those different tricks and tips and again it just takes time 
So get on out there, get your eyes glued to the uh, screen, <laughs> and try to come up with some new plans. So hopefully this video helped you out. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Please share this video if you liked it. Share it with your clan. I'm trying to help you get better, trying to get myself better, and it really will improve your game. And come watch me on Twitch. I have, uh, I'm doing a lot of more Twitch lately, so if you didn't know that, please come on Twitch. It will be fun. And my friends, we will see you next time. And as always, Halo out. <laughs>